beautiful. Hello everyone. We're super excited to show this place to you today. Uh, this is Philip and Nam's place. They've been building it for about seven years. It is an off-grid, natural, bond-in homestead, and it's just amazing, honestly. It really demonstrates the beauty and potential of what you can do with an off-grid homestead in so little time as well. We're gonna give you a tour around this place today and harvest from the garden along the way, and then we're gonna go back to our place and make some food with all the wonderful organic produce that we have picked from these gardens. So let's get going. So as you come up to their property, you pass through a lot of lamiae orchards, and then you come to this little piece of paradise that just sticks out from everything around it. There is just this beautiful little stream passing through and I think this is really what makes the place for me. So this is Philippe and Nam's newest house. There's two houses on the property and it is just beautiful. Uh, you can tell they put a lot of love and thought and care into every part of the building process here. And just to remind you, this is Bandin. This is Earth Home. So it is built with bricks and then plastered over and then finished with different kinds of earthen paints. So let's go check out this beautiful home. You can see they have a nice little archway above everything. I think the first thing that you'll notice is that there's this beautiful sculpture on the wall that they built themselves into the wall just by using kind of a cob method. It really just makes the place feel super homey. Uh, and inviting. And then when you look out to the stream, this is the incredible view that you get. So you can tell just like everything that they've done here, down to the very details, is just full of love, full of creativity, uh, and using mostly natural materials as well. Just sitting here and hearing the stream in the background is just like the epitome of a peaceful moment. This is their living room, essentially, which is amazing. They get to wake up to this every day. This place really feels like it's just inviting nature into their home, and it's just a part of the environment that it exists in. Something really, really touching. But let's go check out the inside of their house because it's just as beautiful. It really seems like just every wall, every door, every window has some sort of beautiful artsy touch to it. So you can see here that this is essentially their house. It's a bedroom and a bathroom. There's a reason for that. Philippe and Nam love to live simply. And I think most people in these type of communities also enjoy simple life. There's not really a need for a large house in the jungle when you have the beautiful jungle surrounding you. You can be part of that. So essentially this is just a place to sleep, but it's still packed with so much beauty. Let's take a peek at the little outdoor bathroom that they've got. <laughs> you can see it's just it's so cute and homey. You have a shower overlooking the stream and the sunset and just a simple bamboo wall on both sides of it. Simple functional and also beautiful. So while their home is beautiful, I think really the highlight of their place is just all of the gardens and everything that they're growing here. So we're gonna take a tour just through the first little garden that they have next to this house, but there's so much more to see. So in this garden, we have Chaya, we have Anchen, the butterfly pea flower. They are growing 
all sorts of different colors of roses, just offering such a sweet, beautiful fragrance, uh, even while you're walking throughout the garden. Next to me here, you can see they have so many different kinds of lettuce. And I really like the way that they are growing things because they have lettuce and then they have cilantro and green onions. Uh, they have cauliflower and daikon and broccoli and mint all growing in the same uh, little patch of garden here. And then you'll see behind on this side, they have so many different kinds of tomatoes. I wish I knew all of the different kinds. While we're in this little uh, plot here, we're gonna collect some of these uh, tomatoes and some of the vegetables here for our meal later. So one of the cool things that Philippe and Nam started doing as well is growing mushrooms. So come and take a look at this little setup that they have here. So they have a whole bunch of different bags uh, that are all at different stages of readiness, uh, but these are basically good to go. So we can just take this little flop of mushrooms and that's it. Now we can cook mushrooms in our meal tonight. This was just garden number one by their new house. So we're gonna take a little uh, meander through their property across the bamboo bridge that you might have seen in one of our other videos to their other gardens that are just bursting with different vegetables. So let's go. This way. <laughs> Into the pineapple. I am just seriously jealous of this bamboo bridge <laughs> that Philippe has made, albeit he has some tools that we do not, which make it easier, but I just, like, I was so impressed by, by this bridge that he made, apparently in just one day as well. Mm -hmm. So, let's keep on going. We're gonna need a few of these leaves for what I'm planning on making from what we gather here. If anybody can guess what it is that we have in mind. Wow, this smells so good. These kaffir lime leaves are just so fragrant. I think this is why it's so hard to make Thai food anywhere other than Thailand because you just don't have things like freshly picked kaffir lime. In this section of the garden, they have even more tomatoes, and these are incredible. They just have these beautiful long green eggplants, and they are just so delicious and so creamy. Like, I love cooking with them, so we're definitely gonna take one. This one looks pretty good. Oh, and they are spiky. <laughs> They have little spikes at the top of them. Beware. And it's always where you want to grab. Like, I really want to grab the eggplant right there, and it's spiky. Maybe that means you shouldn't be eating it. I don't know. But look at that. It's beautiful. The other thing that we need that I see here is some chilies. We'll just take a few chilies because we do have some chilies at home. As you can see, he just has garden beds everywhere, full of stuff. Got a ton of vegetables, ton of herbs, and also just flowers everywhere as well. It just creates a beautiful setting to walk through to the older house where the kitchen is. So one of the coolest things about Philippe and Nam's house is that they have wild honeybees, not only in their land, but 
basically inside their house. Two different colonies, and both came completely naturally. Um, so it's kind of cool to just be in the kitchen and you hear a buzz on one side of you and a buzz on the other side of you, and it's just two colonies kind of going in and out of the house. This is the entrance to their older home. This is the first home they built seven years ago when they first came here. Uh, they'll admit that they had no idea what they were doing. They just wanted to throw a house up and they did it in 21 days. But right now they use it for a kitchen and a little guest bedroom for anyone that wants to stay with them and also just like a tranquil meditation spot for everybody. So again, you can just see the idea of living outside in nature built all throughout this property and these houses. Uh, it's a completely different way of living than most of us are used to, and it's super unique. <laughs> this has got to be the tiniest, cutest kitchen I've ever seen. But also just simple and functional. There's one burner, there's pots, there's a wood fire stove, there's a shelf to keep all of your cooking materials. What more do you need for two people, right? To see that they've just built in all of these natural accents to make the kitchen feel like part of nature. Their light switch is set on a tree branch. Wooden handles on the pots. The countertop is literally made out of a chunk of wood from the jungle. I mean, it's resourcefulness and practicality, but it's also beautiful and so in tune with just the environment around it. So you probably can't see it right now. There is a colony of bees living inside this table, in specifically inside the tires that hold up this table. They came last year, they made honey, they left, they collected the honey, ate it, enjoyed it. This year, they came back again. So it's kind of just a, a mutual relationship between human and nature. You can have this home for a bit, doesn't bother us. You leave us something in return, everybody's happy. Before Philippe had electricity here, he had to water his plants. So he designed this bicycle pump to bring all the water up from the well and disperse it through the different piping and sprinklers that he's got throughout the property. You can't buy something like this. You can't, like where we're from in Canada, no amount of money could pay for something like this because it's an extension of someone's soul and their creativity. And you can really see it displayed here throughout everything that they have and have built. Um, the beauty, peace, and tranquility of this place is unreal. And just to imagine as well that this place seven years ago was a dead piece of land with nothing growing on it. It's an inspiration for us. Also just a unique view into what is possible when you have the ability to create something. So often in modern culture we're just so used to buying a house and most of them have no character whatsoever. They're just cookie cutter designs of four variations and everybody has them. Um, but here you just it's so unique, it's so them. And if we had the same piece of land, it would look totally different as well. Philippe also built this little bamboo throne, I think he called it, mm -hmm. right? The so he can, he can look over his, uh, his garden mm -hmm. and just chill here. I think it's so true, like this place really does feel just like an extension of Philippe and Nam as people. There's not anything in the world that's... Oh my gosh! Hello, friend. <laughs> he he looked like a bear for a minute. Like, <laughs> like in we Canada... We first Thai bear. <laughs> in Canada, if you're in nature, you have to be aware of bears. And that dog just like looked like a little bear to me. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Uh, found the rare Thai bear living in the mountains <laughs> of Chiang Mai. Just decided to pee on some plants yeah. and leave. I mean, that's yeah. not a rare occurrence in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure another thing you guys might be wondering about is, okay, it's beautiful, it's tranquil, it's amazing. How much did it cost? I think that will surprise you. Both houses that he built 
costs under a hundred thousand baht, which for Canadians that would be about four thousand dollars. A hundred thousand baht. I don't think you could buy the flooring in a house in Canada for four thousand dollars. So yeah, it just shows you what's possible. We hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Uh, I know we enjoy being here so much, and I hope it inspires some of you to. Yeah, see what you can build if you had land. How could you design it? How could you make it something beautiful like this? We are gonna go take all of our harvests. We're gonna go back to our place and cook some food. If you guys want to stick around for that and see how good our Thai cooking skills have gotten mm. or how bad they are, I don't know. You can be the judge. But we're I gonna... think they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we have a lot of Thai viewers, so I oh, think uh, I think they have to be the judge in this one. This is what we harvested from their garden just today. So we have cauliflower, we have a huge amount of mushrooms, we have tomatoes, there's so many more tomatoes. Uh, I got some kaffir lime, some lemongrass, and some basil. We also have lettuce, pumpkin, chilies. There's so much that's growing here. It's such a satisfying feeling to harvest things from the garden. This isn't even my garden that I've been growing. Uh, but like Ren said, it's just, yeah, inspiring to think that this is the possibility. This is what, uh, what it can be like if you really want to put in the work and value, yeah, just living simply, living naturally and trying to live sustainably. It's, beautiful and i am super thankful that we get to take care of this place and just receive from it uh, for even a short time Nothing beats fresh garden veggies picked from the garden and straight to the walk. <laughs>